WHDD presents Susan Says. This is the season of awards, rewards for showbiz to give themselves kudos. Well, some are deserved, but not much this year. You know you're old when you complain about what those kids are listening to in music today. In my day, it was Elvis swinging his hips that shocked people, or rock and roll, and then heavy metal, and Kiss's tongue sticking out, but all of that pales in comparison to what showed up on the Grammys this year, as much as I could watch. Sheesh. First, I will say the production in times of COVID was very well done. I'm not a Trevor Noah fan, but he was all right, or all right, as they say, or I'd, or whatever they say. But the nominees, all in bizarro outfits, have weird names, and sing or rap things I can't understand, and oh, never mind, I'm old. Moving on. They did redeem themselves, the Grammys, that is, last night, with a great retrospective of classic important songs reimagined or honored by today's stars. Common, who I love, hosted. This was a wonderful program to hear Marvin Gaye songs, Billie Holiday, Classy Show. Almost all is forgiven, Grammys. Almost all. The Oscars. I haven't seen any of the movies, except for the Chicago 7, which was on Netflix, I think. Frankly, they all sound really boring, and so I don't intend to watch them. So I can't say which is best. A couple of women directors, yay. Lots of diversity, yay. And the other, well, I don't really care, as the former pretend first lady used to say in her designer jacket. I would like to say that it is really disgusting that demand on demand is charging 20, okay, 19 plus dollars to see a movie. No thanks, the nerve. My limit is six. I've been paying that occasionally because I'm so bored, but 20, never mind. Several prominent actors are persona non grata now for sexual harassment or describing that they want to be cannibals. Yeah, that too. Ooh. I am giving out my own award for Sasha Baron Cohen doing anything. I love him. He's so smart, so funny. He did his Cambridge paper on Abby Hoffman so he could play him very well, I'd say. Sasha, call me, you know, at home. I had a second vaccine swab, so I got so excited. I was feeling safer. I was going to go out, but not to eat a sandwich, which is still not worth risking your life, but for a walk or something with my double mask. But just as I was going out, I read that a sword-wielding crazy was arrested last night around the corner from me, so I guess I'll stay in. And to those dummies who went to Florida spring break and partied on without any precaution, you will be killing your grandparents. Congratulations. Stay away from New York, please. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.